Hello to all my friends out there. Hi, you guys. Okay, babies, come on now. Remember, I'm, I'm training you to say hi. Send your love. Come on, sweetie pie. <laughs> come on, shadow. Tweets for granny. Okay, they'll start tweeting in a minute. Sometimes once they get started, it's really kind of scary. So I bought this lovely poncho. It's actually pretty lovely for $3.50. But I dry, I only had one dry cleaning sheet and I turned this thing inside out and it could use another run through, but it's good enough to uh, wear around. When I was young, this was like back just around the time of the hippie days, we loved ponchos. And I had the best leather sandals that I can no longer find. So, okay. So I have some mint tea. I made a special trip to get, I made a special point to get this one. It's very mild and it doesn't almost kill me. And so I bought a bag of mandarin oranges and what is really pretty and really tastes really good is um any kind of fruit sometimes they use lemons with hot tea enjoy life you get to a certain age and it's the only prudent thing to do so take and then this is one of my teacups this is a pretty teacup, so it's too hot. <laughs> I heated it really hot so that I, I have burned my mouth recently, so I haven't quite had a chance to forget about that. Okay, this video is eat out of the stockpile, no cost meals. How to stockpile for one day, the weekend, a week, two weeks, or a month. So I want to start with uh, one day, how to stockpile for one day. And I want to make sure that my meals don't cost much so I can afford it. Okay, babies, I have to move you. Okay, so what I did was I went to my stockpile and I had one of these. So you're going to try to do a one day stockpile. How about one of these or any kind of, of these meals. And so out of this meal, I made a tasty Spanish rice. It makes a lot the way I make it. So I bought this, um, hamburger, Okay, if you want, if you're one person and you want to eat hamburger twice a week, if you get um, one pound and you cut it in quarter pound pieces, that is enough for two weeks right there. Or if you buy two and you eat it twice, oh, I go a little bit skimpy on the meat. You don't have to. I got a very good video for you guys. Where is that? Ground beef sandwich. Feature Man. This is a great channel, but he uses a half pound hamburger in his um, sandwich. And he makes, uh, I posted it on my Twitter. He makes uh, potatoes, fried potatoes and onions. That sure did look good. So what I did is I fried one pound, um, one pound hamburger and a little olive oil, because I had just happened to have some. Then I added two cups water and I had about a tablespoon of butter. So it calls for a tablespoon of oil, but I had homemade butter that I have made. So I used that and I put the rice in and I brought it to a boil and I cooked it about halfway through. Then I added the hamburger back in and I cooked it until it was almost done. Then I took, what did I do with the can? I had a can of stewed tomatoes 
And then I had some cheese that I had bought and then we came up with this. Okay, so now, so it's a little skimpy on the meat, but what I like to do is I like to add a little cheese, uh oh, my earring, a little cheese and olives to kind of add a little bit more um, protein and it, oh, here it is. So I stockpile these. So for a month long stockpile, I stockpile two of these. So now when you're doing the month long stockpile, the way I do it, you might be a little bit light on the, um, on items, but the stockpile is like to get you, you can add more if you want. I'll tell you how I do it in just one minute. Okay, so let's get a little bit out. So because it has cheese, it has um, rice, it has tomatoes, it has hamburger. And then what I do is I just put the rest in the, the, um, the refrigerator and I eat it for lunch until it is gone. So I had a few olives, green olives, these were great. And so I will put a few, a generous amount of green olives on. So let me look on the package. So here we have it. I doubt this costs a dollar. So, you know, there's all ways to uh, stockpile. Let's see. Servings 2.5. So like... They're saying this would be uh, for two, like two people and maybe one child. I think it's about enough for, for four generous type meals. So then uh, on, I also uh, found these at 99 cent only for a dollar. And on Feature Man, go to that channel, Ground Beef Sandwich, he was drinking root beer out of the bottle, a big bottle. And he said, pudding is good. And I thought, yeah, that is true. So what I had in my stockpile was this. Um, I just made this. This is some custard, caramel custard. So I am looking forward to eating that. Here it is. So this one makes a lot, four cups. And it had a caramel on the top. So my caramel seemed kind of stiff, so I decided to zap it for 30 seconds and it exploded all over. And so no caramel. So see, I have enough left for two more. So what I had left, let me taste this, was I had um, some milk from when I made the buttermilk. And I had some uh, milk from the food pantry. And then I had a little shelf stable milk, so I used that, so that was good. That is good, and the tomatoes, the tomatoes really, really help. Uh, I haven't put my silverware away in days. It's clean, however. <laughs> I've been working on Christmas a lot. Let's try this. Pudding is good. So is custard. Mm. All right, so that's one meal. So that's one approach. The hamburger, if you stockpile by the quarter pound, maybe a half a pound for a man. And so that would be, that would be enough for either two or four meals that way. Today I bought this Red Baron pizza because lately I've been eating pizza for lunch and I bought this at Grocery Outlet for $4.29, so about a dollar a portion. Now this one was good. I think maybe, now these are more than $4.29, uh, so I got this marked down. So I think maybe this is a little better than the Walmart pizza. But the Walmart pizza is good. So you could say, okay, that is four meals. I could stockpile that way. So, okay. So now let's go. Let's go. And then, so two days you would buy like two dinners, two, 
two of these meals. Okay, so now I'm doing, I'm stockpiling by the month, but if you want to stockpile by a week, you can still follow this pattern. So here is the one I came up with, and I'm following this pattern. So here is, here is the month food box. I, I'm only on box two. So I have milk, bread, eggs, cheese, beans, rice, cereal, potatoes, pasta, soup, meat, fruit, uh, vegetables, and uh, tea. So now this time, you know, I was getting a little bit better at it. So I thought to myself, what I wanna do is stockpile in a way that's gonna, it's gonna enable me to survive. So I have uh, nuts and fish. So I got these nuts, two bags of these for, uh, sometimes I use peanut butter, that's good too. But I decided to go with these nuts because I got them for $3.99 at, gro uh, I think it was grocery outlet. And then fish, I have an actual box over here. But I, I decided it would be so much better if, ooh, if I um, put the cans in their own separate uh, box. So I have two canned salmon. Well, I will. So it's going to be, you don't want to be running out of fish or nuts. And another thing is I was researching protein and salmon as one of the highest ones and easy to store. Okay, milk for shelf stable milk. So this is another one you might run out of milk. So I stockpiled in this box over here. Four shelf stable milks, or it could be evaporated or powder, and uh, two of these uh, chocolate milks. But I only have one in here. So what I'm doing is I'm just making a check mark when I put them in here. Okay, bread. For bread, I want good shelf-stable crackers. I can eat them with tuna, I can eat them with soup, I can eat them with peanut butter. But I only, these are the ones I like, and they're from Dollar Tree, and the box is smaller now. But these are good crackers, too. So, two boxes of crackers. That way, at the end of the month, you're not going to be running out of bread. Okay, then I have eggs. For eggs, I am going to use either protein powder or I have these canisters of buttermilk. So um, for um, an egg, I would substitute, you can a lot of times just substitute water for eggs, but you can also take a tablespoon of buttermilk powdered or protein powder. Eggs, that's for eggs. And then cheese. So when I went to the food pantry that time, they gave us one of these. So I got this marked down, I think it was yesterday. And then I bought the bag of mandarin oranges. So I learned that. So I would want to start out with the salmon, the uh, cheese, and the large bag of oranges. Beans, four cans. And then I found these grits, cheddar cheese grits for a dollar. So I thought I'll take those because if I have eggs and grits and toast and maybe some sausages or some cabalsa or some sausage, I could get by and you get 10. So they're 10 cents each. No wasting because they're in their own package. Uh, rice, beans, cereal. So, uh... I just had these two cereals, so I put those in. And I bought these really cheap one time at Grocery Outlet, and then I stockpiled up on one of these. And if if things got tight with the wheat, you can substitute uh, you can substitute oatmeal. Uh, I got this rice and beans at the food pantry, so if you need food and you're a senior woman, I would suggest going to the food pantry. Okay, so we have potatoes and pasta. So, um, 
I'm trying to find better pasta. So when I use my cheese to make macaroni and cheese, I'm going to have a good meal or tuna casserole. And I got two bags of, of potatoes. Now this is a lot of food. So if you just want to do a week, go to the foods that you're most apt to run out of. Here's the cheese I, I got. And I put this cheese on everything. Spaghetti, everything. Uh, you can take, make a really good salad by a little pile of lettuce with some piles of salsa and some Parmesan cheese. Okay, uh, pasta. All right, soup. Okay, today I found these and I bought two. And at the time, so I ended up getting uh, 14 for $7 because they were 50 cents each. So this is the kind of stuff I like to stockpile because each one of these is four cups of soup. So I usually want, I only usually eat one cup. So these were 50 cents, 99 cent only. So I bought two and I thought, no, go back because I bought cereal uh, last, I mean soup last week and it was like uh, $60 for 60. Cause I couldn't find the little packages. And the, this makes a nice portion. And so, you know, you can, what I do is I eat soup and sandwiches or I eat soup and crackers in the middle of the night. Uh, I got these at 99 cent only. So for the month. And so what I do is say, if I don't eat all these soups, which I won't, I just uh, recreate another box out of what is left. Meat, four cans. So I had uh, two cans of salmon, because those have a lot of protein. And then I bought this today. This wasn't the cheapest. I bought it at Grocery Outlet, but the expiration is 2026. And what I like to make with this is corned beef sandwiches with like bread and uh, mustard. So that's a good one for me. Uh, that's the only two can. I have three cans so far, four cans fruit. Okay, so I wanna go heavy on buying uh, peaches these days because they're predicting a peach shortage. <laughs> what? Yes, a peach shortage. So I have pears, I have fruit cocktail and there's peaches in that. And I have, uh, I have two cans of pears. <laughs> So I'm gonna be finding some uh, peaches. I like to make a peach crumble or a peach pie or a peach cobbler. Okay, and then, you know, two cans of tomatoes. You wanna to have tomatoes. And then I have four cans of uh, vegetables, two green vegetables. Uh, how I make these is I just uh, drain them and I cover them with some milk and then if I have homemade butter, I put some butter, salt, and pepper. And what's good about this is if you have bacon, you can cook these just like beans and make some cornbread. I have uh, sweet peas because those are going to be good in all kinds of things. And cream corn, you can make soup. So that's pretty good. On the... And then I bought the box of tea. Okay, so... Let me give you the shot of the month long. So if you wanted to do like a week, one of the easiest ways is you get a meal plan and you just stockpile. So I, I have a lot of meal plans, but I'll, I'll do this. I'll give you the meal plan. Here's the uh, meal plan for this week. And pretty much everything is in the stockpile. Pork chop sandwich. Uh, pizza and soup, hamburger, uh, chicken and rice, pancakes and eggs with homemade jam, hot dogs with chili, macaroni and cheese or baked beans, meat pie. Usually I make like a shepherd's pie or I make pie crust with meat, with meat gravy and vegetables like uh, mixed fruit, mixed vegetables. So that is easy. So let me give you the 
the list. So if you go, if you stockpile an extra meal for one, and this is the way I stockpile. I don't want a bunch of stuff. Um, if, if things get really bad, then I'll buy a lot of food to make sure that my family and I are okay. Uh, also, I'm stocking non-food items. So what I'm gonna probably do, these are not cheap, these are $5 each. So when I buy two, that's $10 right there. And I like the, I bought two of these, but I like the Walmart big one that's comparable to Dawn, but they're out of it, so I bought two of these. And then I bought uh, two of these, and you can use these like bleach, like the people who keep letting their dogs pee in front of my house. I could use if I didn't have any bleach. And then I got two of these today at um, at 99 cent only for cheese making. They make life easy. So, you know, making cheese, making buttermilk, making cream cheese, making uh, butter, making uh, jam, growing a little garden. Those kind of things are really going to help you. And then um, I divided the month in 10 three-day segments. This is day, um, day uh, three of the first three days of the month. So I was working on the um, month-long stockpile, and I also did discount shopping. So one of the things I got was, I got this cheese, it's vegan cheese for 97 cents. I'll take that, I'll have that on one of my sandwiches. I have the packages of meat, like tuna, like spam, like chicken, with some of that cheese, gonna be a good sandwich. I'm clearing non-essentials out one room at a time, making room for survival items like what <laughs> like water that's what like food like non-food and like medicine and like uh, clothes that are going to keep me warm or just like clothes just for like wearing around so what i do with my clothes is i i buy them very very cheap first of all then you know i'm not too hard on my clothes I, when I'm done with them, I throw them in big garbage bags and then I go to the swap meet. So a few months ago, I made a thousand extra dollars at the swap meet and I sold a uh, household junk, clothes, anything and everything that I wanted to get rid of. So uh, that's what I do with my clothes. I also sell costume jewelry, but costume jewelry is not easy to find. But a couple months ago, I did find some costume jewelry. So when I go to the swap meet, I like to sell everything for a dollar. So if I want to make a thousand dollars, I need a thousand items. Last time I sold a lot of watches, very cheap but I need a thousand items and it cost me $30 the first time to get in. Then if you keep the $30, you know, afterwards and you don't spend it, you can go until you make your thousand bucks. And it really helped me clear out the house. Another thing I like is anything with like ambers. And then I bought this, uh, I bought this bracelet, I don't know, a couple months ago with this medallion. And like, I will wear my costume jewelry forever. Like these earrings, I bought these last year at Christmas time. And so I use them and then when I'm done with them, I get rid of them. I sell them for a dollar. Sometimes I sell them for a quarter. So, okay, I wanna mention one other thing. So right about now, we wanna have store, stored food. We wanna buy good food. We wanna go, buy uh, nutritious food. But what I think we wanna do while we still can, is eat as much um, vegetables and fruit and fresh meat and non-processed food. Good dairy. Uh, I started going to uh, Trader Joe's. Uh, the Going to the uh, food pantry helped me a lot because the food came from um, Trader Joe's 
So I went to Trader Joe's to check it out, and it's not that much more expensive, depending on what you're buying. They do have very um, expensive items. And when I was looking around there, I thought, wow, this like um, reminds me of a vegetarian type store. Uh, I, I'm not giving my meat up, but I am open to some, like on this, this rice thing, if you didn't want to use uh, meat, you could use corn and black beans. That would have been really good. So if you're stockpiling, that is enough dinner for basically, well, it's enough for two and a half meals if you were eating a lot. So, and also, you know, if you, I stockpiled up the soup because each one of those soups is like a mini meal. Like if you have crackers with peanut butter and homemade jam is really good. So I'll be making more jam and I think tomorrow it's about time for some banana bread. So another way you can get fruit is by making the fruit breads. I made applesauce bread and then I made a half a batch and I'll make banana bread probably tomorrow. So if, if you didn't have any fresh, um, I buy a lot of fruit marked down, but if you didn't have any fresh uh, fruit and you had homemade jam and fruit bread in your freezer, you could get by for like the last three or four days of the month. But when you start doing this stuff, you're not gonna be running out of food. And another thing is if you don't have enough food, uh, try one of the churches or pantries. Um, so, you know, talking about this saving $1 a day, I tallied up my, uh, the food they gave me at the food pantry, and that was $81. So, what do you want to do, collect cans, five cents each, or just go lower your, your pride, if you're very, very, um, embarrassed, wear sunglasses. I, um... This is like the way I do do things. I was buying jewelry from this guy at a, a rummage sale and he told me about the, the, the church. And I thought, you know, you really should go. Go and see what happens. I wasn't expecting all that fresh food that I got. And so I learned a lot because for one thing I learned, let's say if we're talking about, we're talking about the monthly, um, the monthly meal plan. Okay, so you go to the food pantry. Did you get nuts? No. Did you get fish? No. Did you get milk? Yes. Uh, did you get bread? No. Did you get eggs? Yes. Did you get cheese? No. So if you have some food and then you got all this nice fresh food, you could get by uh, the food they gave me. I, I won't need anything until probably after the first of the year. So I wanna encourage you guys to do that. Also, right now, the EBT cards are very liberal. Like, what did I tell you yesterday, you guys yesterday? $281 per month. $11.04 is the average cost of food for one day. So now here in, the, in where I live, you can literally go to the food pantries every single day and the people who were there were telling me that some of them do because they have big families. So um, if, say, if by going to the food, I went to the church, I got $81 worth of food. And then if I was to get SNAP for $281 a month, that would be helping me. And if I was stockpiling a little food, I mean, you could even hold back some of your food from the um, food pantry. Like I still have a can of mangoes that I got in there. I mean, the food was really nice. So, okay, you guys, please like, comment, and subscribe. And God bless you all.